What is up guys, it's your boy Chris here. I got you guys with the story time video tonight. I was telling my friend this last night, we were playing Fortnite and I told her the whole story, right? That like my first time having sex, right? I told her the whole story, she was laughing and all that. And I, I was gonna upload that video while I'm playing Fortnite so you guys could see like crazy kills I was getting and all that, right? Also shout out to her. So here it goes. It was like the end of junior year, 2019, right? And I was friends with this one girl and I noticed that she will, um, she has been posting videos of her and her friend like a few days now or a couple of days. And I told her like they were up, like it was like probably like two o'clock or three o'clock. So I hit her up and I said, hey, what y'all doing? Like, you know? I commented on her um, post and all that. And she said, I'm here hanging out with my friend. And I said, oh, well, that's cool, that's cool, right? And I said, yo, I'm bored as fuck right now. You wanna hang out? And she was like, I don't know how the fuck it went. Mind you, this is, it's, it's, um, it's, over, it's a couple of years now, right? So I'm trying to remember what she said or how it went, right? She told me um, that she was down to hang out, right? She told me, hey, I'll let you know when I'm outside. My, her friend, I dated her, I dated her friend too. Um, she lived like just down the street from me. And what's it called? She sent me a video that she was outside. Mind you. While while me and her are texting and she's letting she's letting me know I'm on Fortnite or whatever, talking to my friends right. One I used to be friends with, the other one uh, I'm still friends with. And I told him, Yo, bro, I'm about to go hang out with my my friends right. Well, my friend right. I don't know what we're about to do, but I'm we're just gonna go walk around or whatever. They were worried about my safety and I, and I guess I was like, Nah, man, I'll be good. I'll be good, right? And. Back then, my mom used to be overprotected, right? A lot. So I waited for her to go to sleep. I texted my brother. I said, hey, I'm going to go hang out um, with my friend. We're going to go walk around the neighborhood, right? We walked around like three times in the neighborhood. I told my little brother, I'll be right back. He was telling me, be careful. Um, I told him, you got my back? He said, yeah, I got your back. Um, let me know if mom wakes up or whatever, right? And I'll come back home. I went through the window and... Um, I went around the house to the front of the yard and I jump over the fence. So I went down the street and I and I see them. And I'm on the phone with my boy, Sadiq, I think, or this was like later on when it was that night, Brad. So I introduced myself to her friend. We talked for a little bit and we walked around three times. There was the, there was a time that um while we were walking I'm not sure if it was the first hold up I'm back sorry about that my mom called me yeah so like either the first lap or the second lap walking around my um our neighborhood right there was a no um, a man I'm getting a phone call from my friend what's up guys your boy's back I was just on the phone um nothing bad so where was I trying to remember where it was we were like on the second lap or the third lap no 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 first or second lap right and there was a dog that started coming and in my head i knew there was a fence right there but when that like it was out of nowhere like my it was like the middle of the night and we all got scared like i was like yo what the fuck and she she went on she she was like I was walking straight, she was walking here, and she was like, oh my god, like, you know, grabbing me and all that, I was like, like and w which was cool, right? Um, so we kept walking, after the third lap, um, once we finished the, once we finished the third lap, I said, yo, I gotta go now, I don't know if it was cause my little bird said, yo, mom is awake, or there was school the next day, or whatever, you know, so I dabbed him up, and all that, right? I went home, went through my window, and close the, you know, close the window and all that. And I told her friend, 
I said I was texting my friend. I said, "Yo, tell your friend um, she's cute." And she said, "Okay." And she said, "Tell him I said thank you, and he's cute too, and all that." So when she told me that, I said, "I bet." Tell her if I could get her snap. I got her snap, and from there on, me and her were texting, and, and she was telling me, like we were getting to know each other, and she told me, you know, I see you as a friends with benefits or boyfriend and girlfriend thing, you know, you and me. I said, oh, all right, like that's cool, right? And then I was flirting with her, and then that's when we decided hey why don't you come over now i don't know if this happened like a few days later or a couple of days later the day of um that we were gonna do this and i was like all right bet like let's do this right she was like she was like um let's do this i was like all right bet so i told her i'm gonna have to try to get some condoms i think the next day i told her hey i'm gonna try to get some condoms or whatever Fuck, man, I really don't know what day, but let's just say the next day. So I told her, um, no, two days later, I told her, like, we were talking for the first night. Then the next day we were talking and I told her I'm going to get condoms tomorrow. She said, stop lying. She didn't believe me, right? I said, no, I'm going to get it. I got off the bus. And this is something that I always did when I got off the bus. I would walk home, do my schoolwork, and then knock the fuck out. And then when I woke up, I would do whatever, right? This day, man, I got off the bus. Now, I'm always tired when I got off the bus, man. I was tired. and But I told myself, I was like, nah, I can't. I got to do this shit. So I was speed walking down to my house. Threw the bag on the bed. Sorry, I just felt like I was going to sneeze. I'm sick, man. Threw my bag on the bed or whatever. Got on my bike. Pedal my way all the way to the Sev. The one by, um... If you guys know where the Manassas Party Police Station is, there's a Sev 11 right in front of it. That's the Sev I went. So I went down there. I put my bike on the side of the Sev. And I was hoping, man. I was like... Man, I hope nobody steals my bike, man. So I went in the store and I was looking for the box of condom. But at the same time, I'm looking like at the window to make sure that my bike is still there. I saw the box of condoms, for three condoms for like $5. I was like, damn, that shit expensive. Five to six dollars, right? I was like, damn, what the fuck? And I saw the big, spot, the big box, like that, like that carries like what, 36? And I was like, 15 or whatever or maybe 20 bucks but then i was like man now i know why people fuck raw and shit i mean they could be a, they could be there's a lot of reasons why right maybe one is like the price on the box of condom right for like five or six dollars so i got them i got in line and i'm all I'm, I'm close to the i'm about to pay right the third person right and <laughs> The guy in front of me, he was like, um, probably in his like, I would say early 40s. And he turned around and he told me when he saw what I had in my hand, he was like, you horny, huh? I said, hey, man, I got to do what I got to do. Like, you, you already know, bro. You already know. So I paid for it. Now, mind you, before this too, before I got the condoms, you know, I was telling my friends, yo, um. Do they ID or whatever, like, for a box of condoms? He's like, nah, man. And I was getting worried. I was nervous. And then I'm not sure if my friends said this, but they were like, man, stop being a pussy and just go do it, man. Go do it. So I was like, all right, then. It's something funny, too, man. Me and this girl never spoke to each other before, right? And I remember, like, this wasn't the first time. This was the second time I seen her, but I just didn't know, like, like the first time they didn't even click. The first time we were in lunch and I came to um, Manassas Park High School half a junior year. I was at OP, right? I was in history class. We went to lunch with my little group. And this dude I used to be friends with, man, this guy, bruh, I was sitting next to him and there was some 
three other dudes another dude that i knew was like on my left or on the right of him right no he had to be on the left left of me and the girl was next to my friend the one i used to be friends with and he asked her um hey would you suck my my man over here this to three dudes she said no to those three and then he pointed at me and said would you suck my man right here and she said i don't know so and that's something i told her after we finished doing the nasty you know so i got the condoms um i paid for them got on my bike pedal my way back home so got the condoms i put it in my um drawer right and you know your boy is always prepared bro he's always prepared man like i only got four left and the thing is I gave my friend Eric uh, a row of condoms, man. And it was like, what, seven in one row? And I told him about it recently. I was like, it was like a few days ago, a couple days ago. I said, hey, yo, bro, remember when I gave you those um, condoms? And he said, oh, yeah, my girl threw it away. I'm like, bro, what? He's like, yeah, man, she threw them away. And um, I forgot why. Maybe because his shit was small or whatever, you know? I'm playing. So I was kind of like, I was kind of like, man, bro, you could have given them back to me or whatever, you know? So back to the story, I texted her. She was in my grade, but she graduated early. She didn't have to do senior year. Um, so I told her, hey, I got the condoms. And I think I texted her that, or I took a photo of it. And she was like, oh, okay. I went through the window. Well, before I went through the window, it, I waited for my mom to go to sleep. I told my little brother, hey, man, your boy about to get some tonight. And, you know, it's my first time. So I waited for my mom to go to sleep. When I opened the window and I went um, went out, I would close it, but I would have a little space so I could, like, you know, try to um, open it quick and then dolphin dive in that bitch on the bed. So um, I went out. My mom was sleeping. My little brother really... Um, had my back, I went down the road and her mom was working and they had this pit bull, bruh, or I don't know what type of dog they had, but they had this dog. And okay, look, me, I will fight a dude, but when it comes to a dog that bites and shit, man, I'm the type to, I'm haul ass and I don't give a fuck. Yeah, so her dog was, once I went to the front of her house, I texted her and I got behind her fence like, I wasn't even, like, on her property. I was, like, right in front of the fence because I could hear the dog barking. And I said, yo, I'm here. Um, she said she was going to put the dog up. I'm not sure if I went through the front door or her window on the side. So I got in the house. Um, The dog was up. We went to her room, either through the front door or I went through the window. And... We were there, like, you know, she was cleaning and all that. And me, I'm not, I'm not in no rush, right? I'm here chilling. I'm sitting on her bed and she's like, so what do you want? Like, you know, like, do you, do you want me to give you head? And I said, I mean, if you want to, I mean, you know, you don't got to. So it's her first time. It's my first time. She's nervous. I'm nervous. Well, I would say I'm nervous, but at the same time, I'm on gold mode, man. I'm like, let's do this shit, man. So like she either finished cleaning or whatever and you know, we both get undressed or whatever, right? And I put the condom on. And I am not lying, bro. It took me a fucking hour that this shit was not going in. Like, every, like, you know, this is her pussy, right? Here I go. Put, and I, and like, I'm putting it in, but every time it went left, it went right, it went up, it went down. I'm like, man. And we're doing this, like, She's over there, like, you know, patient, waiting. And then she get, like, later, obviously, when she knows that it's not even going in, she, like, she's like, you know? So she's like, and um, I have the condom on, and I'm trying to put this shit in f for, like, an hour. And what I tell her, I, I, tell, I, I say, you know what, let's do this. I'm going to lay on your bed. 
and she got on top of me and I said, all right, slowly go down. And I'm here, you know, holding my dick. And she, like, I'm like, all right, slowly go down. And she's like nervous. She's like, no, no, because I know it's going to go in. And bro, like, I'm trying to put this shit in, like, obviously with her consent, right? We're trying to, like, do this. And it doesn't, like, you know, it's not working. And she says, I'm about to do this tomorrow or whatever. She said, like, she's starting to get tired. So let's do this tomorrow. And I said, hold up. Let me do this. If it doesn't go in, I'm out of here, man. If it does go in, bet. So I'm standing. She's on her bed. Legs, you know, on my shoulder or whatever. And um, I take the condom off. I'm like, man, fuck this shit. I took it off. It went right in. And when the second it went in, I'm like, damn. What the, man? And you know, like... She's like, like, you know, trying to breathe and all. And, she, and, she, and I'm like, yo, you good? You good? She's like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's in, it's in. I'm like, yeah, I know it's in. So like, so I told her, I'm going to go slow and all that. I was going slow. And then, you know, your boy was going a little bit fast and all that. And she was liking it. And like, we were doing, we were, bro, we were fucking for like, it was a long time, man. And I was like getting, I was like, man, when am I going to bust, man? And we were fucking for like 17 minutes. And when I was about to bust, I pulled out, you know, and went on her. Um, I said, yo, you, you got any paper or whatever? Oh, I don't even know, bro. I don't think she, she had any paper, but all she did probably was like, she got her blind and just cleaned it off. <laughs> so we finished and all that. So, um, I call my, I put my clothes back on and, I, and she's like over there. She, she got dressed and she's over there, um, on her phone or whatever. Right? And I'm on my phone and I call my friend. I'm like, yo, Sadiq. He's like, yeah, bro, your boy did it, man. I was on the phone with mom, my boy Sadiq. Right. And I remember on the way going to her house to do this, I was like, yo, Sadiq, I'm about to do this shit. Or it was either the night when I was gonna go hang out with my um, with my friend, right? We're not friends no more, cause her boyfriend was like, "I don't want you to talk to that dude no more." And plus, like, like other shit too, man. <laughs> like, I wasn't trying to get with her. So yeah, like I'm on the phone with Sadiq, and I tell him, "Yo, bro, your boy did it, man," and all that. And he's like, "Yeah," I'm like, "Yeah, bro." And Sadiq, he been having sex, right? Um, he was trying to help me out. And like Sadiq, so he's good at giving advice, and um, he's a really good friend, bro. Like that's my best friend, that's my homeboy, that's my, like I would do time for that fool, man. I got his back no matter what. Like that's my best friend right there, man. So I'm on the phone with Sadiq, and I'm like, "Yo, bro, your boy did it," and he said, "Yeah," and I'm like, "Yeah," and he's like, "That's right, my nigga, keep fucking it up, bro." And she heard that shit, and I think her eyes were like wide open when she heard that shit. So, um, I said, yo, I'll call you later. I'm going to go home or whatever. He's like, all right. I said, yo, I, I'm going to go now. Now I remember. I went through her front door. Yep, now. So, um, she um told me when I was leaving, like, we, we gave a hug or whatever. And she told me, hey, um, I know you're single and all that. You could do whatever. You could fuck anybody. You could, like, talk to anybody, you know. And, like... I noticed obviously like when obviously she's catching feelings for me, right? Um, and I told her, nah, like you'll be the only like the only girl I'll be fucking, right? And um I got home, which was true, man, you know, I wasn't bullshitting her. Um, I got home, I opened the window, dolphin dive in that bitch, um, closed it, and then I get a text from her. I am not 100% sure, but I would say, I would say this. She texted me and like, when I'm, I'm not sure if it was like, this was the second time I was doing this again or the third time. But when I got home, um, we already did it. And she told me, come back. I want, I, I want to go again. I said, I was like, yo, use your hand, bro. She was like, it ain't the same, man. Come back. I want you again. And I was like, all right then. I went back to her house 
and shit and the thing is i was gonna say man it was getting close to like school too man like five o'clock it was getting close to it so um she um we did it again i went back home that's the story man my first time having sex like and we dated and all that right and um i thought i was ready well that's the story guys i hope you guys enjoy add a like subscribe if you're new and add a comment if you like share this video man and i have so many ideas of like uh what i'm gonna be uploading i'll give you guys one i'm gonna be uploading a prank video that i got somebody pregnant and my mom is gonna be in the video so i'm gonna prank my mom that i got someone pregnant man that shit gonna be crazy so i hope you guys enjoyed the video add a like subscribe if you're new well you guys have a good night y'all be safe love y'all and peace out guys